Hello and welcome to Infinity. I like to kind of tinker and play with things and see what can we do with this. And so this is a little bit of a play. And the question is, if we go to levels and switch to lab mode, how does that work? How will that affect things? So let's have a look. So let's start off the lightness. The black darkens the picture rather nicely, isn't it? That's a rather tidy darkening. So that's already something useful. And white, that kind of comes this way, but you're going to get a bit more burn. It's a bit better for darkening. You can do both, of course. So there's already interesting effects just from that. Gamma, turn that up. Another way of darkening, quite tidy, and doesn't uh, lose the whites whilst you're doing it. Go back the other way, it lightens it, but also it lightens the darks in here as well, so perhaps not as useful, but nevertheless, that's what it does. Output black level, it, it, it goes all hazy and things. If you want a, a kind of a, like a matty picture, that sort of works. And yeah, I seldom use these two but okay so there's something already a opponent okay now this is the red green thing well reddish greenish lab defines it in a completely different way so this is not like the normal thing so if i pull up this thing it just goes greener but however i'm kind of losing out up here but let's hang on to that for a moment because I pulled down red and that's even more. That's that's the reddish colour. See, it's kind of a rose colour, isn't it? But again, it's turning that rather red. So what if I kind of brought that down here and brought this up at the same time? Then what you get is they're balancing each other out there. So I'm restoring the whites. So you need both of them to restore the whites. But look, this turns up the greens and this turns up the reds. In fact, there's probably a bit much in the way of green there. And that's not too bad there. What you can also you do is use the gamma to balance it. So I can, if I turn it that way, it goes greener. And this way, it goes redder. So if I just want to affect the reds more, turn the green down so that's not so much. And then I turn this one this way to balance the reds. So I bring up the reds a bit more say and turn up here that's going to turn down the reds a bit but it's also not going to it's going to leave the greens okay so you turn that up to bounce off the white so you find a white to to bounce that off so there you go that's immediately something you can do with it and if i go to the b opponent then this is the blue yellow so if i turn up this one you can see here, particularly it's, it gives the, the sky, it's a nice, much nicer colour to the sky. And if I come this way, I'm going to make it bring up the yellows. So I'm just going to make the house a bit more orange. So I can see if I'd like that, that's OK. And the final balance with the gamma, just to get the white point, the white's ready. And uh, a tip with this is to use the info panel to check that the you know, red, green and blue are about the same sort of level. But you can see there, you can, you know, there's a before and there's an after. It's brought it out, it made it more colourful, but in a very controllable way. That's a general principle of LAB is because it's actually, what it's doing is is playing with, with the colours in the same way that your eyes see them your brain sees it it's often really quite tidy and it doesn't go completely bonkers anyway that's it a little play with levels and lab thank you very much for watching